All right, so the last video focused on fishing stick baits over grass beds. A deadly fall technique works every year here in South Louisiana. Today, we're gonna try something a little bit different. Gonna be fishing grass beds again. We're gonna be throwing soft plastic baits on light jig heads over those grass beds. Now, the, the way to fish those, you kind of cast out, you let them fall, and you drag them just right across the top of those grass beds. Kind of twitch them a little bit and work them and those speckle trout just cannot stand it. They smack them, or at least that's the plan anyway. We'll see if it works. So my bait today is a pink egret wedgetail. I really like this bait, and pink is a great color when fishing green water. And the water today is beautiful and green. Uh, man, you can see probably a foot and a half, two feet down at least. So we'll see if this uh, delivers some speckled trout. Boy, that was a good hit. Not a big fish, but boy, that was a good hit. Not a big fish at all. <laughs> but he definitely hit it like he wanted it. I'm telling you, when you see beautiful green water like this, fish pink. You can't go wrong with pink. And you know, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so good month to fish pink. Boy, when you feel like grass, on your bait, just go ahead and reel in because they are not going to touch it. It's got any grass at all on it. Oh, there's a fish. And he's not big either. We have found the speckled trout daycare. Oh, came off. These fish are not big, but they're a lot of fun. Well, you can really feel the vibration this wedge tail puts off. You can see how loose that tail is. It just really vibrates well in the water. I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but we were fishing our grass flat. Boy, the tide's just really rolling hard out of here. And that caused a current line to develop around this point. We said, hey, let's go check out that current line. A lot of times they'll hold speckle trout. And sure enough, we got here and caught one right off the bat. We'll see if it's just a, an anomaly or if it's a school. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> Another one. Dude, I'm getting drilled. Look at this. Look at this. Look what they did to my bait. I hooked my own bait. I hate when that happens. This bait is getting mauled. Oh, there's a nice fish. There's a nice fish. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. We'll see. I'm thinking he's not. Next year's crop. Still fun and still pretty. Just love these speckled trout. Bye, baby. Ooh, there's a fish. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice trout. That's a nice trout. Yeah, baby. That's what you come for. All right, this more than likely is a fish that spent the summer outside spawning and has come in with the recent high water and the change of seasons. I'll tell you what, when a fish takes a lure that deep, you know he really wanted it, and he took it deep. All right, so we kind of discovered something. Things had really slowed down for us. We got a couple of bites when we were reeling the bait in to make a cast. So now we're just going with a straight retrieve and it's really paying dividends. There's one. <laughs> double. Got it. Is going to make it? I think he is. How about yours? I think he's a throwback. We'll see. 
Oh no, mine's gonna make the travel squad if he gets in his boat. Yes. Oh, oh you Mine lost didn't. yours. <laughs> mine's freaking out on us, but he's a legal 13 inch fall speckled trout. There's one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Perfect eating size speckled trout. Can't wait to get home and broil these babies up. All right, so the straight retrieve has made a dramatic difference. When you think about it, it really kind of makes sense. Water temperature right now is 83 degrees. It's mid-October, that's way too warm. But everything's very active when the water temperature is that high. All the bait fish, certainly all the speckled trout. The bait fish is running. It's not just kind of in a comatose state where it's really slow moving. And those trout are expecting fast stuff. They're expecting stuff that's gonna do its best to get away from them. And uh, if, if you just kind of hop in the bait, it just doesn't look natural to them. So straight retrieve is definitely paying dividends today. How much longer that's gonna last? Probably until our next good cold front or our first good cold front. Yeah, the jack's been bad. I'm waiting to hook one. Yeah. I don't want to hook one, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Oh, nice fish. He's not that nice. Oh, you saw a jack? Dude, a jack, jack swiped at him. him. <laughs> a jack swiped at him, but missed him. Thank goodness. Because I don't want to fight a jack. All right, so this egret wedge tail, it's probably caught about 50 fish. The thing is just absolutely decimated. It's destroyed. Uh, I've tried to ride it out, but it keeps sliding down, so I'm just going to have to change it. The bad news is I've only got one left. This is my second to last one, but I can't make it work any longer. Oh, goodness. Dude, he's oh, he's real. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How awesome is that? male he's croaking these fish are not monsters but boy they are enthusiastic that's for sure and they're gonna taste delicious hey thanks for watching don't forget to add pink to your arsenal keep it in your tackle box whenever you run across that beautiful green trout water that we all love to fish pull it out thread it on your jig heads and you will catch more fish as always please subscribe marshman mass on youtube also hit the like button and leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite soft plastic color and brand is for various water that we have across here in South Louisiana. Take care and good luck. Get out there and fish this fall. The fishing is fantastic and we're just in the beginning stages of it. It's only going to get better.